Mari, I'm an 8th grader at Kennedy and I will be narrator today. I'm Jasmine, I'm an 8th grader from Kennedy and I will be Sessa. I'm Hafsa and I'm an 8th grader at Kennedy and I will be Ty. Okay. Sessa watched in disbelief as Jed was snatched up by the hawk. Through a thin thick thicket of raspberry canes, she saw the blur of brown and white feathers, the all too clear scaly brands of powerful yellow talons as they curled around Jed's middle. She saw the surprise in her friend's eyes as his paw was lift, were lifted from the earth. She stared at the empty space where Jed had just been, sit, been for, the, for a moment. Sessa was frozen. No, she thought. No, not Jed. She, she shook her head slightly. She shook it again, and at this time the movement freed her. She shot out the thicket she raced to the top of the nearest tree out to the precocious tip of the limb that had lost its leaves. From there, she could see her dear friend was being carried swiftly, so swiftly away. His form was a silhouette, a small shape from a long tail suspended below the larger hawk shape. Her heart began to fill with sorrow. Tears pooled in her eyes. But wait, what now? Were tears blurring her vision, or was the small form separating her, separating from the hawk shape? It was. It was falling away like the drop of water from the tip of the leaf, like a nut from a tree, like like a squirrel, and if her eyes were not fooling her, the form did not fall like limp, lifeless squirrel. It seemed to stretch out as, to stretch out and then curl up tight. Um, I'm going to read the little heading at the bottom. There's a good chance that her eyes were fooling her. Jed, Jed was far away, very far away. He could not have been more than a dot, but she did see him, or did, she did see him fall. Yes, I think she did. The curled up squirrel, fell, squirrel shape fell into some trees where she could no longer see it, but hoped she, but hoped pushed its way into her heart. Sudden, or hope pushed its way into her heart. Stubbornly, it took its place besides the sorrow. Now Chai joined the her in the treetop. The slim limb dipped lower with its weight. He too had seen the capture of Jed. Following Tutsa, Tutsa's gaze. He watched the sh tiny silhouette of the hawk swoop and soar. He furled his tail and over her shoulder in sympathy. Let us go eat a nut, he said. And remember our friend. I think he escaped, she said. Chai pushed back his cap and peered quizzically at her. Tsutsa, he said gently. No one escapes from the talons of a hawk. I saw him fall, she Chai. said. The hawk dropped him just past the unnatural shape. Which unnatural shape? Chai, he could see three of them without tw twitching his head. The huge silvery egg, the tall frozen spiderweb, and the great beak that sometimes sings but never opens. The spider web, said Tutsa. But not the closest one, the one after the one after that. Chai looked toward the point she was describing. It was a long way, a very long way, out of their realm, three, maybe four realms away and from a flying hawk in the air down to the earth, which was a long way to fall. If Jed escaped, he said to Tsutsu, no one is happier than I am, but we will never see him again. He won't know where he is, said Tsutsu. He probably set, had his eyes shut the whole time. We need to go find him and bring him home. Are you nuts? asked Chai. To squirrels, are you nuts is the combination of have you lost your mind and you remind me of the most wonderful thing I can think of. Nuts, by itself, can actually mean many things like hello, goodbye, or wow. Kind of like shalom or aloha or cheers. In this case, are you nuts also meant, my friend, what you want to do is not even possible. From far below, they heard a jip cry. Hawk! They looked at each other and rolled their eyes. They looked all around and also straight up just to be sure. How would we even begin to find them? Asked Chai. We can go on the buzz paths, said Tutsu. They connect the frozen spider webs, hold them together or something. They do? Asked Chai. How do you know? I went to the first one once, kind of by accident, said Sessa. They're attached. The buzz paths and the spider webs. Probably, said Chai. I didn't know that. Probably, you've already guessed that buzz paths are utility wires and frozen spider webs are towers that hold them in air. In this part of the forest, the trees had grown up around buzz paths in a friendly, welcoming way. But their grove or neighborhood was midway between spider webs, and Chai had never set foot on one. 
So the bus path should take us right to him. Said, said, said. We just have to count to the third spider web. Chai studied his friend's face. He could see that she meant to go. Immediately, they, she immediately felt he should go with her. Jed was his best friend, too. Also, two heads are better than one. The buddy system and all, but he had never done anything like it. He had never traveled so far from the grove. Plus, it seemed to Chai that even if Jed had survived the fall, he would not have stayed put. He would have gone looking for food, shelter, and whatnot, scattered. He's not going to just sit there waiting for us, he said. That's why we have to go right away, said Sosa. Now, are you coming? I'm coming, I'm coming, said Chai, but he said it to thin air. Sosa was already on her way, dropping from the branch. I'm coming, he yelled down after her. Wait! Come on, then, she called back over her shoulder, her voice already dimming with the distance. Muffled by the laced fingers of her tree of the trees, Chai glanced down at the grove. Everyone was running around, back to normal. Chai loved everyone running around. He loved normal. Bye, all. He said fondly, though no one could hear him. There was no time for real goodbyes. We'll be back, he said. I hope. He found a drop of sap and dabbled it under his acorn barret to keep it in place. He checked to see that the sprig of golden rod was still affixed to the hat at the jaunty angle. Then he stepped off the branch, looking to the spot where he would land. Step and land, step and land. That's all the travel was, throwing him in some running around and change of scenery. No big deal, right? And so, off he went, off they went together.